Hi, I'm David Kelly. I'm president and CEO of Chicana Copper. Uh, Chicana Copper is a exploration company focused in uh, Peru. We have a new discovery we made in 2017. It's a high-grade copper, gold, silver discovery hosted internally at Retro Pipes. We publish a resource on that in January of 2022 with 191,000 ounces of gold, 130 million pounds of copper, and 11.7 .7 million ounces of silver. And it was really just the very initial uh, concept resource of what these breccia pipes can deliver. All the breccias are open to depth. We have multiple additional breccias to test. But this year, we're really focused on expanding the exploration to the south, where we have two very large bulk tonnage targets to test. We call it the mega gold target. It's uh, potentially a four free target or an intrusion related gold target. It's very large in, in scope. It's well defined with geophysics and mapping and alteration and geochemistry. It hangs together beautifully. And then in addition to that, we have a high sulfidation epithermal zone that sits at a higher elevation from that. So we're finally getting to test the entire mineral system that we've been wanting to do for several years. Well, David, look, thanks for joining us. And I know you're in Lima at the moment um, at, at the Pro Explo uh, conference. Um, some pretty big names have rocked up there. What have you actually turned up there to do? Well, we were invited to present here. Pro Explo is, is a technical conference. It's mostly uh, meant for the exploration and mining companies. It's very geologically oriented. You get updates from all the companies that are active here in terms of new discoveries or um, projects that are advancing towards development. All the major mining companies in Peru are here, as well as, you know, the junior sector is very well uh, represented. If you if you look in the background, uh, these are the companies that are displaying in the core display area or the core shack. And uh, we have our display right here. Uh, you can see behind me, we have drill core. Uh, we have lots of surface samples uh, talking, you know, to demonstrate the quality of these targets I just mentioned. Right now, uh, Victor Torres, our uh, senior exploration geologist, has given an overview to Kevin Heather and Stan from uh, from Regulus uh, Resources and Alda Baran, two, two other uh, copper uh, uh, companies that are very active in South America. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we, we know, if I, I recognize that guy of your right shoulder. He's been on the right. Dodgy shirt. Very dodgy shirt, but uh, it seems to know what he's talking about. Um, can, do you, can we just go? To, like, I think what interests me, David, is the companies go to these shows, and I'm never quite sure what they achieve. You know, they they kind of have lots of conversations with the same people, with the, you know, with the same outcomes, but n not advancing things. Now, it's been a tough two years in this space for a lot of juniors. Um, you know, some people are you know a little bit cash constrained. Some people are you know um, you know struggling to come up with something new and stand out, but. You're there to obviously have conversations with the likes of Regulus and Algebra, but what else can you get from it? What does that stand tell people about your intent? Yeah, you know, it's it's important for us because we have an existing resource now. We can talk about that. We're doing internal studies on that on that resource. I think I've talked to you about that, on what the potential economic significance of our high-grade discovery uh, is as it sits today, knowing that it's going to get bigger. So that's it's really important for us to be able to show publicly uh, the quality of this resource that we have. But it's also an opportunity to talk about the future and where we think the project could go. You know, we have Goldfields as a strategic investor. They own 18% of the company. They're there for a reason. They put $12 million into our, uh, into our treasury to advance this project. So there's great validation there. Um, so by being here, we're just reminding everybody that we're pushing hard on this project. We're just weeks away now, Matt, from getting that uh, permit that we've worked on for over two and a half years, it's taken a long time. Uh, it's typical Peru bureaucracy uh, that just really drives things to a to a uh, very slow pace. But we've endured that. We're right at the very end. I expect that you know in the next few weeks we'll have great news out about being awarded this permit that allows us to get to the south side to test those giant uh, uh, bulk tonnage targets, as well as many other uh, high-grade breccia pipes that are down there as well. Okay, well, you, 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 so, okay, well let's start with the politics first. Well, I, want, I want to talk about massive sulfides in a second. Um, politics of Peru. We, we've seen a few kind of quite spicy stories coming out of South America at the moment. Obviously, uh, Chileans, well, headlines suggest nationalization of uh, lithium. I, th I think the, the, the truth is slightly more dull than that. And the fact that not, not too much is changing. Uh, they're just kind of, you know, firming up on, on, on the kind of process. 
again, similar stories coming out, well, a little bit further north and not quite South America, but you know what I mean, Mexico. So you kind of got, still got these undertones of this kind of socialist rhetoric and narrative, which kind of, it can be off-putting to, to some. What's the position in Peru? I'm always interested in, in your view of what you think is going on and how you read that situation for your company and your shareholders. Yeah. And that's a great question. You know, we we've been through uh, tremendous time with with uh, with the politics. Castillo was elected. This could have gone in a really really bad direction for Peru, but what happened was Castillo. You know, he came in. He made mistakes right off the bat. He investigated for seven seven different uh, uh, fraud investigations, um, and he was removed. He was impeached by Congress. He's sitting in jail now, and he's going to have to face. Uh, the music on the on the crimes that he committed. So, you know, that could have if he had stayed in power and pushed this country to the far left, like in these other countries you mentioned, it could have been disastrous, I think. But we ha that's not happened. And, you know, all the while, all the copper production that has come out. In fact, copper, copper production this year is going to increase over last year. Uh, it's the number two uh, producer in the world. So I try to reassure people that that Peru is a mining country. It, it's been a mining country for a long time. It's well established. All the majors are here. Sure, we don't like to see the political up like we saw. I think the worst is over. I've been here twice now recently. I came back from the project. Everything is very quiet in Peru. There's no protests going on. Uh, all this, all the headlines that you saw, the sensational uh, events and stuff like that. That's not happening uh, now. So I think we're on a better path. I think the worst is over. We have a very uh, deep cabinet with experience in natural resource development in Peru now. I'm very impressed with the quality of the cabinet members, including the, the Minister of Energy and Mine. So I think we're in a good space. Our project is advancing. And all these all these companies behind us, Matt, are all companies that have been drilling their projects in the last 12 months. So Business is going forward, and uh, you know I think good times are ahead for for Peru. Right. Well, no, well, I, 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 yeah. You got Anglo there, BHP, Antamina, Oxchild, Rio, Tinso, Tech. You, you, you name it. Um, ev everyone's there with the expectation that um, they will be allowed to actually get on with the with their business. Um, massive sulfides. You've got a stand full of rocks there. I always love looking at rocks. What are, what are you showing off there? When you say high grade, are you, are you have you have you rocked up with some high grade? Absolutely, yeah. And and you know this stuff is so spectacular mineralization you'll ever see. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera around now and, and let you see real poor to give you a quick overview of what we have to play, and then I'll maybe we can eavesdrop on uh, on on Victor's uh, presentation to Kevin and Sand here and see what they have. Yeah, okay. So on the right side of this display, I'll back up and give you an overview of the whole uh, booth right here. So there's Victor and uh, Kevin and Stan uh, going through the targeting work that uh, we've done in the past year to define these targets. But on the right side is the high-grade drill core from all the drilling we've done today. We drilled 62,000 meters. Uh, we have seven breccia pipes that are in an inferred resource with very nice grades. I mentioned uh, the the... The numbers on the amount of gold and copper and silver we found but you know we're we've got some really really spectacular rocks here i mean i'm just going to grab this one uh this is from breccia one uh that's got uh 6.9 percent copper 124 grams of silver and 0.3 uh grams gold so really really spectacular high grade mineralization and matt it goes all the way up to massive sulfide look at the drill core right here this is three meters of a 12 meter intercept from Brechel one that had 27 percent copper it was 90 in copper pyrite just under a kilogram of silver and it doesn't get any better than that i mean that is that's uh that's the pinnacle of what you could expect to find in any kind of exploration program and that sits inside one of these breccia pipes that's surrounded by all of those other types of breccias that are you know high grade in their own own right uh, but on the left side here this is this is the future, right? These are the surface samples. We haven't drilled on this on the south side. So all you can do is you're mapping geophysics, geochemistry. You collect rocks and, and you study these rocks. This is buggy silica from the top of uh, the mineral system. It's a uh, high sulfidation epithermal environment. Uh, these pass down into uh, the big mega gold target that we have. And Dave, can I just, can I just talk to you about... Um... 
you know, what what next, right? Just say I, I do appreciate it. It's you know been a difficult couple of years for for everyone. You showed us some super high grade uh, examples um, there, but you kind of got you got to find more of it. You got to get after it, um, and you got to you know be clear about what, what you know where where it is and where you spend where you send and uh, your drills and how you spend your money. So, what are you thinking about for this year? What's going to drive that success? Yeah, there's. Uh... There's a clear path we have this year. I mean, the permit is imminent, and that's going to open up the south area. So there's an exploration program that we plan for that. That's a 4,000-meter drill program to test new targets, right? On the north side, this resource that we've got, it's significant even as it sits today. We've just done an internal study on uh, that that resource as it sits today. We know it's going to get bigger in depth because the retro pipes and the mineralization is open-ended, right? All we have to do is drill deeper, we get more tons. We've got more breccia pipes to add to that with our additional exploration. So that internal study has given us motivation to move to a PEA just based on, on the internal results. So part of the program this year will be moving forward with the PEA on the resource on the north side. Um, we've got, there's been a lot of interest in the resource part of the project. We Goldfields is there. Goldfields has been very supportive of testing the tier one potential that this project has and we're going to continue doing that but at the same time that resource is sitting there it's high grade it's in an active mining district it has great infrastructure it starts its surface it has all of these great attributes that you look for in a, in a starter resource so uh, we see the potential to demonstrate to the market that this resource is very significant as it sits today going to get bigger going to get better while at the same time we're doing this very exciting tier one exploration upside uh, uh, drilling on the south side. So remind me, how, how many meters are you funded to, to do? What, what was your aim in terms of the end of this year? Yeah, so the plan is to drill initially 4,000 meters in the exploration of those targets. Now, if we hit something and we're certain that we're going to, the high sulfidation system has, uh, has older Buena Ventura drilling where they hit oak plus one kilogram silver right near surface. We know that the uh, the Estremadoro retro pipe uh, that, that sits right on the edge of that mega gold and all, it has copper staining and multi-gram gold. So those things will probably get additional meters to uh, to get them to a resource stage. But first, 4,000 meters, let's go see what's out there. Let's then come back to the things that can handle some additional drilling to try to get them into a, 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 di a drill density where we could actually do an update on the resource. Okay. And your your timing, again, ideal timing for on the resource would be what? Well, it depends on how, what we get into. And I, I you know, if we tag into something on the, and the mega gold, I mean, that's going to be a big drill out, right? That could take a year to do that. The breccia pipes and the high sulfidation though, probably would go relatively quickly, depending on how expansive the mineralization is uh, in the high sulfidation zone. They can be giant ore bodies as well. Uh, they can also be uh, constricted to feeder zones where you get much higher grades. Uh, so we don't know where we're going to find there. But by the end of this year, I would like to have drilled the 4,000 meter, know where the new discoveries are, uh, initiated the PEA on the resource on the north side. And there's a lot of other things that we're active with. Our social program, of course, uh, surface land acquisition, uh, I'd like to initiate the permitting for the underground exploration on the north side. That's a permit that you can get from the uh, the Ministry of Energy and Mines that allows you to do underground development for exploration purposes. But while you're there, you can also do bulk sampling. Uh, we wouldn't do that uh, development work this year, but we can work towards getting the permit that would then allow us to move forward with a program like that. Well, like David, like um. No, I appreciate your time. You've, you've, you've got to get back to this down and, and do some selling yourself. So um, thanks for the update on, on that. Maybe we'll give it, we'll uh, maybe catch up with you afterwards and see what else you learned from the, the actual conference itself. So um, see you soon. That sounds great. Thank you, Matt.